What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Quick intro, today we're gonna to be shooting the RS6, the C8 version, which is a 2020 model. Uh, R23, or Nathan Foster, is coming down from London. We're gonna take the RS6 out to a couple locations. He's never been to Leicester before for a shoot, so I'm gonna show him around a couple little, nice little spots here and there. It should be a good day, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. So today's video is supported by Nua, so thanks them, to them for sending out this uh, soundproof like vocal booth. It goes behind the microphone and it reduces the reverb. So thanks again for Nua for supporting this video and hopefully future projects will have bigger and better things from them, which would help. I can see that the channel's grown a little bit more, I believe we're at 4,600 subscribers I think, which is like sick. So we're getting closer to that 5k mark, so I appreciate all the new subscribers, all the ones that have supported me for years and yeah, let's keep smashing it. All the photos that you see in this video will be edited in my preset packs on lewismorrismedia.com and at the end of this video, we're gonna be going through the hashtag lewismorrismedia, which I put up a while ago, and we'll be going through the hashtags of other photographers on Instagram that have used that hashtag and I'll shout out Instagram profiles. We're gonna do this at the end of every episode that I do a video like this. Without further ado, let's get into the video and enjoy. See, I was right, this car is actually about 700 to 800 brake. And Lewis got it wrong. <laughs> Lewis thinks he's chilling in 600 brake. <laughs> this guy is just literally running out of the road. <laughs> oh my way, this is gonna be fucked. <laughs> this is actually gonna be fucked. Right, we need to get somewhere out, we need to get somewhere like a little country road. <laughs> yeah. I was on a photo shoot with, um, it was a bagged SL320 and I was taking photos on my camera and I was like, fuck it, I'll take one on a phone and compare it and the phone one looks better when Does it's it? edited. Yeah. When it's edited, the phone one actually looks sharper. You so know what it is? It's bro. your presets on your website. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is? <laughs> Grab my presets. That's Click it. down below. Yeah, literally, that's it. Right, so we're at the first location. And I'm just going to quickly show what I'm using. The Sony a7 IV with the Sony 24-70 2.8G Master Lens. Definitely my go-to when it comes to just quality and overall reliability. So yeah, that's what we're using today. We're always going to shoot in RAW, obviously. But yeah, this is the first location. And we're just going to play around, do some warm-up shots. Man's got his... Uh, GoPro on. <laughs> oh, I'm selling my camera. Yeah, actually. I'm selling my camera, I'm using this one. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yeah, they're gonna book him for a shoot and I'm just gonna be like that. <laughs> 2022, man. Yeah, 2022. <laughs> Looks sick. Right, so because we've got direct sunlight and it's a Nardo car, you don't wanna kind of overexpose it too much. Start a couple of warm up shots, see how it shoots. It's always nice when the clouds go in, when the sun goes in. Oh, mate, that's nice, that's it's nice. so good, isn't it? Nice. Again, like I always say, shoot all angles, stand in, slightly knelt down, and then a little bit lower. Shooting at 2.8, ISO 125, shutter speed 1 over 400. Slightly lower. <clears throat> <laughs> no, you're good, man. <laughs> so we're going to do some slightly offset. When I mean offset, it literally just means like, so you're not dead straight. So more like here, a bit more offset. That way you just get to see how long the car is. Get some low ones if you need to. Them low ones always slap. Slightly higher. <laughs> so I'm going to get some BTS stuff with Nathan. Get some, get some detailed shots. There we go. The sun's coming out. Nice. My camera always goes so weird when it tries to focus on carbon. <laughs> good, good old flip screen. So small things as well, like we're gonna get the little lip spoiler. I'm sitting on top. Sun. Coming off that carbon, nice. So, so try and focus on the RS. Nice getting them crispy details. Oh, listen to the start. Woo! <laughs> Get some rear shots. 
This car looks so good from behind. <laughs> it's mad in it. <laughs> she a fat thing. So these rear shots just go just completely behind. Try and center that grid up in the middle. Yes. Oh, it looks so good. Polarize that glass. Do some slightly high shots. Oh, this car looks so good from front and back, which is rare. So you can see the little glisten coming off the headlights. I quite like that. So the sun's gone in a little bit, which is a bit nicer and uh, even lighting. Quick, come on, words out there. This car looks so good from every angle. So also, if you're wondering, on my screen, I've got the grid. You can see the lines that go across, so I know exactly where the middle of the photo is. And then you've got, obviously, you can use the rule of thirds. So you've got every box here, you've got every grid on, so you know exactly that that rock is bang on in the middle or that wheel is bang on in the middle. That's going to help as a reference for shots. Focus mode is tracking spot large. So if I choose a tracking spot, say I want to focus on that rock and then I move, it's still going to focus on that rock. Or if I want to focus on that back wheel and then press it down slightly so the box shows up, even when I move the camera, it's going to stay focused on that wheel. All right. That's with the Sony A7 IV, by the way. Right, so the last time we came to this location and I did a POV video, it was this video here, the C63S AMG, the white one. The time where the cows came around, the fucking car started licking it. It's not crazy sunny, which is good. We've got a lot of cloud, which would be better for even lighting. Sun's coming out a bit now, so there might have to be small adjustments to the settings. Nice. Because we've got such a nice wide open area, we can literally do a 360 around the car, uh, different heights. So you can literally do standing shot, kneeling shot, and then low shot. And then you can do it from all angles of the car, then you know you've covered every single angle. Yeah, yeah. That's a load to the grass. Got some good BTS shots then. <laughs> which is coming now. So the previous owner of this car is obviously Nathan. <laughs> Is that you, yeah? Yeah, that's me. You've got a building for the car, I can't believe it. It's nice to see you. I'm absolutely loving it. I've never seen it like that, though. So, as you can see, we've got uh, Nathan's car, we've got the RS6, we've got Dippin's 86, which is obviously Nathan's old car. <laughs> so sick to see it again. <laughs> Supra! Oh my god, the seat's so far forward. Whoa. Whoa, the steering wheel looks so sick. Alright, so we're gonna. So many carbon details in this car.
shots up high. Get some nice roof shots. the window and then in Photoshop I throw them shots together get a nice low shot so I just think the RS6 is on a competition at the minute the A6 was on our competition no and then Diphead won it now they are right so that concludes our shooting for today there's a lot of content i need to go through we're going to jump back in the studio i'm going to do the outro and yeah hope you enjoyed the video right so we're going to go through the hashtags lewis morris media nice and quick so start i'm just going to go down from recent so let's start from the top b clarks i think is what i was trying to say on his um insta pretty sick set nice we love a drift car oh luke z33 sick from the same photographer as well we got Nee Memses Media, I think it's how it's pronounced. German, pretty sick. The spots in Germany look so good. I definitely want to go there one day. Uh, we got an i30M, nice set. I like the colour. I've already liked this one, but I think you should have added another shot of just the car instead of just the wheels, if that makes sense. So when you post a set, it'd be good if you do at least one whole car and then like minor details in the set. So there's more to swipe through. Uh, same guys earlier from Germany, pretty sick. RO Visuals. Super yay. <laughs> oh, so bright. Oh, I like that split edit. Yes, loving that, RO. Sick. That's a good set. I would have put the lights on though. That's one thing. Put the lights on. Unless they were on. Maybe just, yeah. Anyway, I love the vibes on that. We've got RO visuals. I'm loving the moody set on there. Oh, I like that. That's sick. Oh, these skimmers got to follow. Nice, that's sick. Next, we've got Dan Clark. Oh, I'm liking the green when it's passed. Is that Lake District or Peak District? Peaks. <laughs> Should read before I talk. Yeah, I like that. That's sick. Well done, Dan. Another from Dan Clark from Jackfest. I'm liking the little split edits. Pink 350. <laughs> Mad thing. Got arc photography, and I've actually <laughs> actually caught me in the photo ruining your shot. You could have just waited. <laughs> me ruining your photo. Uh, but yeah, this S15 Varietta is pretty sick. Um, I do like the vibes on this. My pleasure for ruining the shot. <laughs> in motion media. This is a. Pretty colourful car. <laughs> I'm liking the uh, the edit on this. Nice and uh, vibrant. Give you a follow as well. Nice. Next we've got Dawn Photography. Might as well give you a follow. And go through Taxi Rank. <laughs> oh, the vibes on this, man. Jeez. Go on, Dawn Photography. Yes, that back shot's mad. See, that's the kind of set. If you're going to post a set, it needs to be like this. So you've got multiple photos. Put them in a proper set. Get the details. And the only thing you were missing was a like, one interior shot. Like in the middle somewhere would have been nice. Yeah, man, Dawn Photography is dope. Next, we've got Anna's Pixels. I'm liking the uh, depth of field through that. Oh, I'm liking the split edit. I love doing those. Jeez, Anna Visuals coming through, you know. Sorry, Anna Pixels <laughs> coming through. Yeah, that's dope. They literally look like they're kissing black and blue. I like it. Give you a follow as well. Nice one, Anna's Pixels. And last one, we've got Yano Crew back photography. I hope I said that right. Drop your follow as well. Nice, clean landscapes. Oh, he does post portraits as well. You can tell this is like a car show or something. Nice. I like the clean vibes on this as well. Crispy details. See, that's the thing with landscape. Whenever you post a landscape photo, look how much of the screen gets lost because it's landscape. So if you can, try and only post four by five like RO visuals. And we might as well just finish on this set of this Clio. Yeah, so that's nice. I'm liking that. Wales, you know, Wales is sick. So picturesque. Look at that, what? <laughs> that's mad. Yes, RO Visuals is smashing it. Right, so, so I appreciate everyone using the hashtag and it's nice to just give you a lot of shout out at the end of the videos, just to show that I do recognize you lot and I do take notice of what you lot are doing, which is pretty sick. So yeah, keep that shit up. So I hope you did enjoy the video. It's been a very delayed one. I've been taking my sweet ass time just because I had so much to do and I kept putting off finishing the YouTube video and then I'd do a bit to it. Life would happen, do a bit to it, life would happen. So. Yeah, I need to be a bit more consistent, as I keep saying I will be, and then I keep slacking. <laughs> but it is what it is, and I am gonna try and get back on it as much as I can. Like I said, you can visit lewismartsmedia.com for some presets. I will be coming out with look packs as well, just to help videographers out there. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more if you want to. And yeah, I guess I'll just see you in the next video.
safe. Catch you in a bit. <laughs>